good morning vlog welcome back if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Sarah um I make a bunch of lifestyle vlogs all that kind of fun stuff um so if you're interested stick around but I am off to Panera today we've had the most beautiful weather this week it's been like 80 degrees and woo, and sunny and beautiful so I'm gonna enjoy one of the last days of this nice weather we have by going to Panera and eating outside. Uh, Matt's going to take his CPA exam again today. So, jeez. Pause. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties. Um, so he's gonna be out of the house all day long and I don't wanna be home alone. So I'm going to do that and then maybe I'll go work at my parents' house. I don't really know yet. Um, but I slept wrong on my neck last night. I am in so much pain, it's not even funny. Like I have no idea what I did wrong, but I put BioFreeze on it this morning and oh, it's just like, it just hurts to look either direction and like look up. Oh my God, I hope this heals fast because this is like the worst thing ever when your neck is like sore and you like can't move your head. I hate it, so. That is what I'm dealing with this morning. Not the best sleep ever, but that is A-OK. -okay. But today is Friday, so we have an upside, and we are happy. Weekend is here. Tomorrow I have a little birthday party for my cousin's baby, uh, her first birthday party, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then we uh, unfortunately got some bad news this morning that Matt's grandmother passed away. So we will be heading to her funeral, I think either Sunday or early next week. So keep Matt and his family in your prayers because it's just really, really sad, obviously. And I feel so bad for everyone. This is something that um, we've known about for a while though. And we were expecting to happen very soon. It's just horrible. Um, Matt's sister Jackie put together a beautiful video of like photos of her life with her grandbabies and everything and it's just really sad. So we will be heading to that in a few days and that will be in Pittsburgh. So we'll have quite a journey to Pittsburgh. Um, but that's that. I'm going to get to Monera, get my work done, um, and then <coughs> maybe head to my parents and just spend some time with them because, well, work there, but not be alone because I really hate being alone in the house. I don't know what it is, but when Matt's gone from the house, I used to be fine in our townhouse because he left every single day to go to his parents to work, but when he leaves here, like in our new house, I do not like it. Like, I, <laughs> I don't like it at all, so... I probably will try to spend most of my time like around other people today and then Matt will be getting home around 4 30 and then we're gonna head right up to see his uncle and um, his uncle's side like grandparents like yeah confusing but we're gonna go spend some family time with them maybe go to dinner they live up in like um, the grandparents are in Trenton area and his uncle is up like way North Jersey so we're kind of meeting in the middle at Trenton so that'll be like an hour drive tonight so that's that that's our game plan all the fun stuff so a lot of ranting to begin this vlog but yeah I'll see you guys later <laughs> to Panera I think fall is my favorite season like the colors of the leaves changing on this drive is just like so beautiful I'm like in love with the fall jamming out to some like Noah Khan it's just a good vibe so I'm gonna go in to Panera like I'm really trying to stretch my neck out I am in so much pain um, but I'm gonna go in, into Panera I think I'm gonna sit inside right now even though it's kind of like nice temperature it's just not like sunny out yet so i might go sit inside and then when i get to my parents i don't know we'll see but that's fine i also brought myself a little iced tea so i'm not gonna get a latte today just because the temperature is kind of hot so i don't really need one you know a little something to do. go outside take a little ride if you want to I 
did those really quick and once again forgot a bag so had to buy another one my collection of bags is growing very fast but i will show you what i picked up when i get home i am home from my little shopping and frank is such a sad babe he missed his mom so badly um <laughs> so he is all over me he wants all the attention now he's like mom you left me home alone it's not nice it's not nice um but i'm gonna show you what i got i stopped at trader joe's and the dollar tree so i'll just start with the dollar tree because it's kind of on top i picked up some more of my favorite candies i got four of these bags because i'm obsessed with them and they're better size than like the bigger bags that you get at Walmart or the grocery store or something. Because I will sit down and eat the whole bag of this candy. It's really seriously a problem. So I got four of those. Hopefully I can spread that out and not eat that all right away. I got some curling ribbon. Like I said, I have my cousin's baby's first birthday party tomorrow. Uh, so I got this wrapping paper too. It's like little fruits with some like little faces on it it's so cute i'll show you um the presents i got her in a second too but the last thing i picked up at the dollar tree is just like a million and a half bags like happy birthday bags just like random sparkly sparkly like happy birthday candle wedding cake baby baby <laughs> christmas christmas and two more baby and for no other reason than I like to be prepared. <laughs> I like to have all my wrapping stuff in the house. I actually want to get like little drawers in the basement, like plastic pull-out drawers and like label them baby, wedding, happy birthday. Like, so I know where all my bags are like organized and fun. Like that's my jam. So I think I want to do that, but I really like just having bags on hand because I've been just going down to the basement whenever we've had like a, uh, Two weekends ago, we went to see our friends and we brought them a little present for their baby they're having in a few weeks. Um, I just like having everything, you know? So that's, that's that. Next, ran to Trader Joe's and I don't know, I got a little carried away, but a lot of new things. I got this white cheddar popcorn. Just thought that looked fun. I got this sourdough again, the um, San Francisco style sourdough bread. I used to love this stuff. I haven't gotten it in quite some time so I'm gonna do this for breakfast just toast it and put some butter on it that is my favorite I got two more little packs of these dark chocolate peanut butter cups these are really yummy um, and a nice little snack like I like to have like one tiny little piece of chocolate after dinner and if I don't have chocolate in the house then I'm like craving stuff so I also picked up this little bag of chocolate. This is so good too. Um, dark chocolate bark with almond, pretzel, and sea salt. I keep all my chocolate stuff in the fridge and it just tastes so good cold. Um, definitely pick this up if you've never tried it. It's so yummy. Picked up some more apples. We have been going through apples like crazy lately, so I wanted more of those. Another little bag of pasta, really fun like squigglies. I like that kind of pasta. I like having pasta next i picked up some more tomato sauce just tomato basil marinara sauce for the spaghetti i like having everything on hand some mini teeny tiny potatoes so cute some more chocolate croissants i have one more left in my freezer and it must be really old because the last time i tried to bake one it didn't rise so i got more of those and then i got this head to toe moisturizing balm I thought this would be nice to have in my car for like my hands and lips um even like little flyaways that's exactly what it says on here so that's when i saw the flyaway thing i thought that was really a good idea because i always do the slicked thing but when i start to get these little baby hairs sticking up i hate the way it looks so i thought this would be a fun little thing to have in the car and then i got some vitamin e oil blend um I always put vitamin E on like blemishes or like things that I've picked that I want to heal. I'm really bad at picking my face. And I always have like the little capsules that I bite open and put the gel on my face. But if this is just the gel, I figured this would be easier than having that. And then again, with the being prepared thing, I picked up a bunch of like cards, birthday cards, baby cards. That's really it, three birthday and two baby cards. Cause I already know one of my friends is pregnant and i just like 
to be prepared, you know? Like when I go to baby showers or gender reveals or whatever. That's that, that's what I picked up. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. And I wanna show you uh, my cousin's little birthday present I got her. It's so cute, the first part of it. It got in yesterday, I actually got it from Amazon. Um, and I was able to customize it all myself here. I'll move it out a little. But her name is Charlotte, so I did that. You could pick the colors you wanted. Um, you could pick the little like icon thingies you wanted. So I did a unicorn and a little, I don't know. Is that a pig? I don't know. But I just thought this was so cute. It was only $20. Um, and I also customized the back, putting a little message on there. Wishing you a wonderful birthday, Charlotte. Love, Sarah and Matt. I just thought this was like so precious and a good little present for her first birthday it's like a puzzle so she can actually use it and like take the letters out and learn how to put the letters back in her name so i thought that was really cute and then from marshall's we picked up this xylophone too so this was stored so i really like the um like more muted colors <laughs> so that's why i went with this stuff uh, matt actually picked this out but this is fun for little babies to play with so i thought this was really cute and i'm gonna wrap this stuff up with that new paper i got and bow it all together really cute so that's that This is the finished present. Look how freaking cute that is. I love the wrapping paper. I feel like the colors aren't, oh, so cute. I'm gonna put a little card under there. And that is that. I just love these little faces. They're so adorable. The backyard is so covered in leaves. I actually love it. The leaves are coming down so fast. We still got, oh, motorcycle. Why does he not do it when I'm filming? <laughs> Usually when there's a motorcycle, he runs to the fence because he's a crazy dog. No flank. I'm gonna sit out here for a second because it's so nice. It's really warm out. It's like 75 degrees out, I think, but it's not sunny, so it feels kind of spooky. This would be like the perfect Halloween day because you could still like, I don't know, like enjoy. I feel like it's gonna be freezing on Halloween. I think it's supposed to be like 50. And that is just not fun. The workday is over. Time to go upstairs and start getting ready for our little dinner activities. We're meeting up with Matt's uncle and like grand grandparents on the other side. Not really his grandparents, but it's hard to explain. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna get ready for. I'm gonna do my hair. machine I am not good at hair that is just not my strong suit people but like what is all this <laughs> I just don't know how to do it I straight up don't but I tried you know I tried so I'm gonna fix these front pieces actually 
And then we're about to leave. I'm gonna have to do my makeup in the car. I am running out. Getting out. I am bringing my makeup because I haven't had time to do it. This is the outfit. Just some. Um, that's big work chair. Um, Abercrombie denim shirt from Zara. Long sleeve. Just easy. Nothing too serious. Don't like the hair. That's what I've concluded. <laughs> um, I'm just that tool is not for my hair. I don't think it. It's just ick. Ick, ick, ick. Happy Saturday. We started our morning with a little walk to the coffee shop down the street, which was cute. We've actually never been. One second. Could not open my door. We've actually never been. I just got nice tea because it's like 80 degrees out today. Um, so a little iced tea. Matt got his coffee. We took a walk. And um, we did a little short bike ride too, which was... Gorgeous. I'm sorry the lighting's really bad now. So I'm gonna head out. My grandpa was actually in the hospital. I don't know if I talked about this on the vlog. I feel like I didn't, but I look crazy. I put so much dry shampoo in my hair this morning to hopefully make it last the weekend. But pop up was in the hospital. I think he went on Tuesday or Monday. Um, and he got back last night. And unfortunately, I was with Matt's uncle and like that side of the family and I couldn't go see him last night. So I'm going just to stop by. My grandma's sick now, so I'm not gonna stay long, but I do wanna see them. I do wanna see them for just like 10 minutes and then come home and get ready for Charlotte's birthday party. So that's the plan for the day. It is so gorgeous out. It says it's 72 right now and it's not even, it's noon right now. So it's gonna be a beautiful day for our first little birthday party. I'm excited. Um. And that is that. When we were on our way home from our bike ride, we were coming like back down the street and there was like so much commotion going on with our neighbors. I think there was a pit bull and a little shih tzu that got into a fight. I think the shih tzu is the one that started it. Like he was off his leash for some reason. They were walking without a leash and ran up to the pit bull and the pit bull technically bit him, but like your dog just ran up out of nowhere to the dog. And there were like screaming neighbors craziness like holy moly i couldn't even like wow but i'm gonna put on some noah con open the windows and jam out because it is the most gorgeous day and you just need to do that you know okay gonna start with some stick season go from there open the windows and have a fun little drive. Some. Get daddy some. Nope. No. Okay, it is much later now after Charlotte's party. It's like six something. And tonight is the night of the Halloween parade here in Medford. So I'm vlogging on my phone right now. The camera is downstairs and I didn't feel like going to grab it. But we're about to head out to the Halloween parade. My friend Angela is there right now. So I'm gonna meet up with her and 
show Matt all about the Halloween parade. He's never seen it before. So that's the plan. Gotta find a little like sweater of some sort to throw on over just in case I get a little chilly. But it's still beautiful. I don't know if I will. Um, if I'll need it, but I'll bring it just in case. But that's the plan. About to head out.